What's up, everybody? Najir here at WonderCon 2024 with the creators here of this series that we're going to have a lot of questions about Smiling Friends, which I would love to start off by saying, going back to 2020, April Fools. Right. Oddly enough, that date is coming very sure. closely, and there's been a little bit of a teaser online. Talk. Some talk, some buzz. Some talk, you could say. Mm -hmm. We're big About fans that of season two. Right, there's something's going to happen April 1st. We're big fans of April 1st. It seems like that always coincides with something smiling friends, and yeah. uh, something will come very soon in a few days, so we're excited about it. Are yeah. you, Zach? Are you excited? Michael, I'm so incredibly excited. <laughs> and not only that, it's only, because today is the 31st, 30th. It's close. Very it's close. not. It's not quite yet, but mm -hmm. it's very close. So yeah, we're we're, we're right on the precipice, right at the edge yeah. of a revolution here, a television revolution. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to battle that question at the panel in just a few hours here? You know, the fans are lining up for that, and they're going to, that's going to be the first question when the season two drop in. We'll have to misdirect a lot of questions like that because we can't say much. All we can really say is, uh, stay tuned. April first, there'll be something exciting that I think everyone's going to enjoy. Uh, but yeah, we're just here to promote a very silly cartoon that we put a lot of work into and can't wait. Yeah, And we're enjoying it. Yeah, the, the, the internet's a little torn. We're not sure if this is a, a little pull at the tie here. Uh, a, you never know, it could be. Getting, you know, but we'll see. Uh, it, look, we like to pe keep people in suspense. We'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, you know, it might be a bit of both. We yeah. don't know. We have no, we, we have no idea. A little bit of column A, a little, little bit of column B. B. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Thank you. Well, congratulations thus far. <laughs> um, we are at WonderCon 2024. Um, everybody, you two get in okay? Hotel book, no problems there, right? Thank God, no issues. It's very rainy. I don't know if <laughs> people at home understand. It's like we're in L.A., and it's like pouring rain like we're in England or something. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's just disgusting. Go ahead, Michael. I hate it. It's yeah. disgusting. It's foul. It's gross. What's your con or the rain? Oh, everything. <laughs> everything. Oh, all of this. Everything. <laughs> that. That crap. Uh, no, I hate it all. No, I want to attack. No, I, just, I, I want to rip. I want to yeah, kick that kick thing over. I hate you got to take this home. You can't crap. do that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to take it home for some holes in it. <laughs> but I'm just kidding. Thank you, Michael. I'll uh, back to you. The one thing I'm really impressed about this is um, how almost engaging it is and with the, the complex layered dialogue. Um, it reminisces to anybody, or not even reminisces, probably just yesterday, remember the kind of having conversations with your buddies and how the accountability issues as adults, yeah, yeah, going yeah. back to the finale and who booked the hotel, which is just one of my favorite because I've been there before. Um, I, I want to talk about like the recording process. How do you layer that conversation since you're obviously are voicing multiple characters here, but it's, it's intermeshing so natural to a point it's almost disbelief, a, a disbelief that you are actually doing this. But like, talk about the filming process and then ultimately uh, the recording process and ultimately engaging those very authentic conversations. I can speak to that briefly. So in the scripts, uh, we try to make them pretty realistic, like how you'd talk. We love the idea of, you know, the... They're very silly, colorful cartoons, but it could be real life. Zach always says if you hit a cartoon character over the head with a sledgehammer, they'll like they'll have a seizure. They wouldn't. Well, it wouldn't be like. Smiley friends would be a different. Yeah, smiley friends, it wouldn't get a big bump on their head. It wouldn't be like Looney Tunes, uh, even though we love that cartoon. It's great. But um, back to your question, we'll have like little bits where we'll say, "Let's improv this." So like, if Pim and Charlie have a little back and forth, or Alan, you know, any character, we'll leave that in the script to know that Zach and I will just get on the internet and just like Skype and talk to each other and record it from each of our house and just improv it back and forth and just choose our favorite bit. So some of it's improv, some of it's just naturally kind of realistic dialogue. It's a mix. Yeah. Speaks to us the friendship. Yeah, I, I was going to say, that's the, the people, I think the thing people might be surprised a little bit by is it's all, uh, sounds very naturalistic. We're doing that remotely. So I have headphones in my ears and he's got headphones in his, so we're, you know, hundreds of miles apart in some cases, but the whole show, I think except for like the pilot, that was in person. But for the most part, it's like all been remote, but we're talking to each other. So yeah, uh, yeah we love that kind of naturalistic, like sounds like something you and your friends would talk about. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, uh, exactly. It's very important to the show and everything. It's like it's entertaining, but also triggering. Cause I'm like, yeah, yeah. I've definitely been experiencing this. Like People said that. People were like, oh my God, they're like hanging up on Pim. Like that's good that people feel bad <laughs> for him as a character. It means hopefully we, you know, they feel like he's real in yeah. a way. Actually, well, I was going to say a fun thing with the boss. I just remember when we did the Brazil episode, and we did that call with him. Yeah. We actually called him and made like made him walk around the block. <laughs> 
so he seemed a bit more like frazzled. So I think like that's one of my favorite bits too in that episode because it just feels. I think he was authentically just like walking around confused. <laughs> yeah, we, told him, we said like walk, like walk into a convenience store, and, like like walk around. We wanted to hear like dings, like the boss was like just walking around. and They called him like he was doing errands or something. So that realism to us is always the the just like the joke is that kind of not even the joke really, but the. The vibe is that they're real, and that's kind of what we're going for. Hopefully, yeah. comedy comes out of that. But. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the show is very intentional, too. Going to episode seven, this is just hilarious. As a gamer, I uh, spotted what potentially could be an Easter egg here. The devil playing Rust. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what's that? Yeah. A, yeah, oh, so you play it. Okay. Well, I mean, we both played it, but yeah. uh, that actual footage, I just played it for a bit and recorded it. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I think, w w was that at a time when we were both playing it? and just felt crappy about our lives. Yeah. It was just that game that just kind of Good signified, point. it Good signified a, a certain period of our life, I yeah. think. So, yeah. And the yeah. Rust, the people at Rust were very happy to let us yeah. use it. I was surprised at that, but thank Thanks. you, thank you, Rust. Thank you, Steam. Thank you, Ru thank you, Gabe Newell. <laughs> thank you, Gabe Newell. I love you, dude. Love you. Sorry, I, I made a cartoon about him. Though. Sorry, yeah, very mean. I feel bad oh, about I it. I love him. You hate him, but I, I actually I, love him. I love him, but you hate him. No, I, I love him, too. Him. No, I yeah. love him, too. But I hate him, but you love him. But no, I just, we both love Gabe Newell. I love, yep. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love video games. <laughs> <laughs> and besides, obviously, any uh, information going into uh, or for about season two at the panel, what else can fans expect in just a few hours? Uh, so we put a lot of our blood, sweat, and tears into this, and uh, it's it's definitely like a continuation of season one in a way where it's not going to feel like a there's not going to be a big change in a way where there's not like. It's not like the show format's changed, but yeah. there's some new characters. Obviously, the show's set up where new characters can come in for them to help, and they can be different, maybe different animation mediums. Yeah, there's, a, there's a pink guy that's a new guy. That's a new guy. I don't know who that is. <laughs> don't know who that is. I, this, these are two new characters no. that are coming. Yeah, they're, they're going to yeah, be helped that, by the smiling friend. Yeah. See how people yeah. react. <laughs> yeah, but it's a lot of, it's, you know, we'll, it's, there's going to be a lot of fun stuff yeah. that you're going to see. We can't say too much, but yeah. it's gonna, I hope you enjoy it. I think you will. I think yeah. everyone's going to enjoy it. What do you think? And I just now thought of this off the top of my head. Stay tuned. Like, people say that, but with two O's, like a cartoon. You didn't say that in any other presentation. No, I just thought of that right now. So I'd say stay tuned, and you will, you, look, it's a good time. You laugh, and if you don't laugh, oh, cry laughing. about it. Yeah, <laughs> cry about it. <laughs> cry about it. I should end there, but you did bring up something I quickly forgot about, the animation mixture, uh, which is another big joy of this is just seeing that those different styles all blending in and even still having continuity with the chaos within the, the right. mix. Uh, how is that a part? Did that come first or did the sort of rifting off of each other breed that chaos? I, I think it, it was from the very beginning we wanted to do a mixed medium uh, Mix, do you say mixed medium or mixed media? I think it's both. Because I've always been saying mixed medium, and I think that's wrong. It's mixed media. Anyway, yeah. yeah, yeah I've always, right. whatever. Uh, uh, nah, it doesn't matter. I, I, we always want to do a mixed media uh, show because we, we came from YouTube where we, we did cartoons uh, with, like, you know, growing up with other people that did yeah. maybe 3D or other types of styles, and it's just fun to get guest cameos of other animators. And also having a world where you can just do anything is fun. You know, yeah. you can have live action, 3D, 2D. Yeah. Any like claymation, who knows? You know, it's a it's a whole world of just anything can happen. So it's a fun playground. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> totally fucking agree. Yeah, no, Thank it's, you. it's it's the best. That's, part that's of the pretty show. good answer. Yeah, it was. You nailed it. Well, as a fan, I want you two to uh, continue to work. Um, I'm very very um, excited to hear about the news for season two. I'm also going to pitch an idea that well, I do love yeah. the the short. Con condensed episodes is there as the popularity in animation especially in feature lit films have really grown over the last few years have you all thought of either extending the episodes or going to the big screen ooh uh, ooh that's all I can say yeah we've, we've definitely thought about what you know I think the show works as 11 minutes I think when shows tend to screw with like the Twilight Zone they like went from half hour to full hour in the 50s and just yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. he just don't want to fuck with, with the formula but we definitely have ideas for like what uh, a bigger story would be. I mean, it's so early now. We're only in season two, but uh, we definitely have been toying right. with it. Uh, we like the. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Can I, say I was just gonna say, um, thank you. <laughs> we like the idea of if we did do a movie, it'd probably be like wrapping up the whole thing. Like it's like you know, do some seasons, then a movie to finish it. If we're so lucky, you know. But it, we've always, we talk about that stuff all the time because we're big cartoon heads. And we like how when you do a movie, they're shaded. And more frame by frame. I just love to see these characters just do a, a billion frames, just like turning. Yeah. And uh, I want to see the first scene where like they come to Smiling Friends, and it's like 
you know, it would be for people who haven't seen Smiling Friends Sweet. before. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. so, you know, it would be fun to do, but, you know, if we're allowed, we'll see. I don't want to talk about season two anymore. I just want to talk about the fucking movie now. I'm like, I'm hyped on the movie idea. <laughs> Fuck season two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, with that being said, thank you, gentlemen, for the time. I'll be at the panel later on. Um, and congratulations thus far. I can't wait to hear what's up coming. What's up coming for season two? Wonderful. Thank, thank you so you. much. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was great. Awesome. Thank you. Woo.